just carrying them in. For all we know, maybe this is Christmas presents I ordered and I'm getting ready to wrap them. Right? Yeah, they're, they're not for dogs for sure. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Super Gross Sunday! You gotta get in there. You got, oh, wow. Bella's even here to the check only stuff out. One is here. <laughs> So guys, what's up and welcome back to Super Super Sunday. Obviously, the holidays are quickly approaching and uh, our favorite Bark Box sent us a holiday themed box. Now they did give us a small preview of what to expect. So we're gonna be opening this up, checking out the toys, seeing what the favorites are, and then trying to recreate them in real life. Okay, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Please, can we open? <laughs> Coda, you want your cheers? Do you, would you like a chew? I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some chews in here. He's asking very nicely, do you wanna open the first box this time? You never do. So BarkBox is a monthly subscription of heavy breathing. No, <laughs> it's themed toys and treats and chews. Normally a box has two toys, two treats and a chew. If you sign up with the link down below, your first box is gonna be a double deluxe, which means they double Everything. Everything. Fantastic value. As you can see, Coda is, is feeling very thankful for this wonderful holiday gift that we have bestowed upon him, or maybe he's a little bit tired. As always, huge thank you to BarkBox for sponsoring these fellas. And let's get into this. So what do we have here? Looks Ooh. like we have some holiday desserts. So in this one, oh, this is, Koopy's gonna like this. A gingerbread man in his house. You can put the little gingerbread guy in the house. Perfect. Okay, I know you want that. This one looks like hot cocoa. Oh, fleas navi dog. <laughs> Hopefully we avoid oh, fleas. This, this is a multi-part too. Look. Holiday season. It comes out. Wow, a little wow, marshmallow. I know what you're waiting for, buddy, but we're gonna look at the toys because they're on the top. This will be the toy he likes, this little penguin <laughs> thing. Yeah, see, told you. The little <laughs> tiny one. Get it. Put it in your mouth. I'm not... And oh. This is a, oh, a dookie cookie. It <laughs> One appears to be a peppermint, peppermint. <laughs> sugar cookie in the form of a poo. Bella, what do you think about that? Bark boxes are obviously made for dogs, but sometimes can interest cats as well. The toys are awesome and always super well themed, but so are the treats. We've got some magic jerky bars here. Baba jerky bars. As you can see, this is what Coda comes to these episodes for. Wakey wakey soft bakes. And it looks like we got another Baba. So you never really know what you're gonna get. But the most important thing, the thing Coda is really here for, are the chews. Now I think, is this technically considered the small box? This is the small box. So oh. it's got the small chews. Let's get into another wait box. For the big chews? Let's get the big chews. So they have three different sizes, small, medium, and large. You can see Coda's just about out of his patience at this point. Whoa, Koopy, Whoa. look at that. That's nice. We're gonna have oh, to cut the marshmallows the out. What's gonna be funny is when there's only a marshmallow like rolling around the house. Oh, that thing is You're not gonna have the hot cocoa with so it. <laughs> a big poo. Ooh, oh, a Christmas one. tree. That's a cute, Gingerbread man. And most importantly, what Coda really came here for is this right here. Big chews. Good boy. Thanks, Coda. Get it. Good boy. So yeah, that's BarkBox. Fantastic value, monthly delivery to your door. If you guys wanna check it out, use our link. We've been getting these for like six or seven years. We yeah. love them, so. But in the meantime, I think I have an idea. Okay, we have a gingerbread man. We have a Christmas tree. You guys might remember a couple years ago we made a gingerbread house, but we have never tried doing like Christmas sugar cookies. Ooh. I happen to have a gingerbread man, and I also happen to have a Christmas tree. Uh oh. I think we gotta try, right? Koopy, you wanna make some cookies? All right, I have a very important job for you, Trev. What? Can you preheat the oven to 350? Um, Koop might be able to. Koopy can help you, he'll show you how to do it. Bake. You see that? Three, five, zero. Start. Okay, we gotta put this in the bowl now. <laughs> Good boy, all right. So, what are our ingredients? All these will be down in the description as well. Yes, we are gonna start with two cups of oat flour. Now, we're gonna do a cup of whole wheat flour. Now, here's the thing, guys. You could just do three cups of whole wheat flour, but if you want it to look more like a sugar cookie, the whole wheat flour is gonna make it darker. So okay. if you do it with all the whole wheat flour, you're gonna, it's not gonna be as dark as like a gingerbread, but it's not gonna be that like creamy color of a sugar cookie, but you totally can make it and the recipe would work and it would be edible. It just would look different. Up next is one fourth cup of coconut oil melted. Now that it's melted, 
pour it in, mix it up a little bit. And then we're gonna do a half a cup of water. Oh, you kissed it. Can I put this in the cookies? <laughs> One egg goes in the cookies. Can you give it some good luck? Thank you, that was very nice. That was a really sweet kiss. One egg. And then finally for a little flavor, we're gonna do about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're also gonna do about a teaspoon of ground ginger. Now, there's a lot of spices dogs can't have. They can't do garlic and onion. They cannot have nutmeg. Cinnamon is actually anti-inflammatory and helps regulate their blood sugar. Ginger is full of antioxidants. So in small amounts, this is actually quite healthy for your dog. The cinnamon specifically, if you have like an older dog or one that has joint problems or something. So for Coda, this is ideal. Oh, it's actually, this might be one of the better dog doughs we've made. Normally they're dry or because they're so peanut buttery, they're like sticky, but this is neither. What do you think about this? Do you think you could eat these? They smell pretty good. Beans on it. She's not pulling back, so she might actually really like it. Ooh, that smells so good. So this made a dozen cookies. Coda, you wanna take a whiff? A little sample of what's to come. Looks good, right? We're gonna throw these in the oven for how long? 20 to 25 minutes, depending. We'll set it for 20 and check them out. All right. We'll see you guys in 25. Now this part is genius. I'm licking my lips too. The spinach one, not so much, but the other oh, one's a pretty, pretty good idea. So we're gonna be making the frosting, which the base is what? Cornstarch and plain Greek yogurt. And then for color, we are gonna juice strawberries and we're gonna juice spinach, and that's what we're gonna use as our food coloring. So Chelsea's a genius. We've got the spinach for the color, yeah. but we're also gonna cut up some apples to add a little bit of better taste, a little yeah, bit of sugar. Felt bad about the Sweeten it up a little bit. I'm gonna make three colors, white, red, and green. So for the sake of the colors, I'm gonna double the recipe. It's gonna be a cup of plain Greek yogurt, no flavoring or anything, and a cup of cornstarch. Once I get it all made up, I'll dole it out into different bowls and we'll make the colors. We're just gonna mix that cornstarch and yogurt together now. So the cookies are all done. Look at these, these turned out really, really nice. Yeah. They're still a little warm. There's like some solidity to it. Ooh, look at the char marks on the bottom too. You killed it. Nice job, girl. Now we have to try the colors. Nice strawberry juice. Hoping this mixes up nice and turns into a red. So our plan is to do a white base. Yep. And then we've got these things, these little like cake decorating things. We're gonna put the red and the green in there and then we can make some designs. I didn't know this was for cats. Oh, the real stars have arrived. Don't you even think about it, Koopka boy. All right, Coda, you wanna go to the table? The whole family is very much involved yeah, right now. No, no. <laughs> or you're not gonna eat one at all. <laughs> Dakota. Okay, now that we're all situated, we can do a little bit of cookie decorating. You drooled on three of them. Green for a Christmas tree, red light strings. How about that? As far as homemade cookies go, this actually looks pretty good. I think they're pretty cute. Let's do the star that you chewed. This can be your star, okay? Because you took a little bite. It's not eating time yet though. Don't you hate it when you've got to prep the cookies? This was always my favorite part. I was never like a big sugar cookie eater, but I just wanted to decorate them. Really? The artistic side? Yeah. Koda's the complete opposite. He could care less if it's pretty. Bella's just sniffing and rubbing the table. This table has been through it all. This is like an old Ikea table. This thing has been the focus of so many episodes. Honestly, I think it's like 25 bucks. Probably the best $25 I've ever spent. Yeah. What are we doing for a gingerbread man? I'm thinking we do the eyes and the face and then like a green scarf and maybe some mittens and boots. Oh, that's cute. Maybe if I connect these, that'll look more like a smile. Scarf, I don't know about the scarf cookie, but we can give him some mitt <laughs> mittens. If you need a redo, he can erase it. He looks like he's kind of forcing a smile, but I feel like the scarf isn't bad. But that in was... his defense, he's about to get eaten. So Those like... are... He'd be a little nervous, just trying to smile through the pain. Do you want a little a little piece here? Do you consider that? Maybe not. What if what if we put it in a little frosting? Would you like that? Yes. Oh no! I messed up your Christmas tree. How could you? What happened there? We've got an extra one that we just don't even need. Should, we'll we, check it out. should we give it away? Good boy. <laughs> 
And you know what's great is that these are actually like, we know what's in these. Yeah. They're healthy, they're good for them. Oh, oh, yes, very frosting-y. <laughs> you, are you gonna, I wasn't sure if that was gonna come back up or what. I've never seen him eat a cookie that fast. The nervous gingerbread man is about to meet his fate. He was nervous for good reason. Good boy. I tried to put stars on the star and it was, let's just not look at that one. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know about that good. one. He it wasn't could, good. It could wasn't. Take care of it. And maybe Coda can have another Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. What if we just push this one this way? How long until? Okay, let's just totally, let's just totally act like we're doing other stuff. About three seconds. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. We will see you guys next week here on Super Uber Sunday. Chelsea, do you know what next week is? Um, a special day. Very. Very special day. Very special day. It's Coop's birthday. So we will see you guys next week. You guys know that one's going to be insane. And then after that, we've got Christmas, which yeah. honestly, we kind of messed up a little bit. We didn't even mention the P.O. Box really this year, and we yeah. should have, and we just realized it. So it might be a smaller P.O. Box episode. We still have quite a few. It might be too late to send it. If it's you guys think you can, call, you can get it here by like December 20th, there's no way. Maybe December 20th. If you can get it here this week, then feel free to send it, but we kind of dropped the ball this year. We still have a ton left, like saved up though, so should be good. Check out Bar Box. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.